Assalamu alaikum. In the last video, we have learned different methods of changing mammoth plants to induce EMF in a, a coin. In this video, we will discuss the production of induced EMF by changing the area of the coin. For that, I take a, a metal frame, a rectangular metal frame, which appears something like this. And this uh, metal frame is uh, found to be fixed in a magnetic field, a uniform magnetic field represented by these uh, crosses. Now, I told you earlier, the crosses represent uh, that the magnetic field acts inward, perpendicular to the plane of the board. Okay. So let me repeat once again. Here I have a, a rectangular metal frame fixed in a perpendicular uniform magnetic field. Then to show that EMF can be induced in a circuit by changing the area. I place one. metal rod here which can be moved. Now earlier it is placed at A, B. Then it is moved towards the left side with velocity V to change the area enclosed by the loop. Now okay. it has moved to a new position. C, D. They are moving towards the left side with velocity V. And here, the length of this rod is found to be equal to L. L is the length of this rod. Now, when I move AB with velocity V towards uh, the new position C, D, the distance covered. Is written as V dt. This is the displacement covered by the rod where it moves in the magnetic field. Okay. Now, how do we get this? Let me show you. We know velocity is nothing but displacement covered in a given time. Now, from this, the displacement ds is obtained by cross multiplication. If you multiply dt with v, we obtain ds. This is how vdt gives us the displacement covered by this uh, metal rod, movable metal rod. And here from the diagram, it is clear that this displacement gives uh, the breadth. breadth of this rectangular area. Okay. Now, let me show you how this represents that the area has changed. At the beginning, when the rod was placed at AB, area of this loop was large. But now, when it has moved to a new position CD, the area has reduced. Okay, so the change in area of this loop is given by this rectangle, rectangular part, this A, B, C, D. When the area of the loop decreases, definitely the magnetic flux linked with that area will also reduce. So, when the area of the loop decreases, the matter flux with the loop will also reduce. This is what uh, I am going to show you here. Now, so, 5D is the matter flux, which is represented as the product of matter field and the area. If it is so, then change in matter flux 
is the given as d5v. Here, lava fluid remains same, but only the area changes. So, change of matter flux is equal to bd ye. Okay, here. Yeah. D five B. Written as B D A. Here D A is nothing but change in area. Change in area of the loop. Change in area of the loop. This change in area of the loop. Uh, loop is nothing but area A B C D from this uh, diagram, okay. So I write this one as B multiplied with area of uh, what is the area of uh, A B C D here? A B C D this rectangular part. The area of this rectangular part can be obtained if we multiply its length with breadth. Here length is L, and its uh, breadth is. B and uh, whose value according okay, to this diagram here the value of B. What is B here? B is nothing but B D T so from here. So in the place of B, I am going to mention that L B D T. Fine, then afterward now take a DT this side. D phi B upon a DT. If I do so, what I will get? I will get this B L V. So this uh, equation, I box this. This equation gives me the expression for change in Maxwell's flux with the time. We know according to Michael Faraday's second law of aerodynamic induction, change in Maxwell's flux with the time. Rate of manifest change is equal to EMF. EMF induced in a loop is nothing but rate of change of matter flux linked with it. Hmm. So, by keeping this two in mind, I take this equation of one, this is equation number two. So, by comparing one and two, 1 and 2. What do we obtain is nothing but this. So in both the equation we have got d 5 b upon dt in the left hand side. So we obtain this. This is equal to b l v. Okay. This gives us the expression for induced EMF in the, this loop. Okay. And here the direction of so suppose this loop has got the resistance R, then induced the current in this loop is given as I equals to epsilon upon R. It is obtained using Ohm's law. You know what is Ohm's law? Ohm's law says that V equals to I R. From this I equals to V upon R. See, in our case, in the place of V, we have EMF. That is the epsilon. And R is kept as such. In the place of uh, capital I, I have small a. This is how it is obtained using Ohm's law. Clear? This is uh, the expression for induced current in the loop. And this current flows in this uh, direction. The current flows in this direction. That means uh, it uh, takes the path A, B, C, D. It flows uh, in this way. And uh, the direction of induced current is given by Fleming's uh, right hand rule. What is this Fleming's right hand rule? Let me show you. If you stretch uh, three fingers of your right hand, 
Then the thug gives the, the direction in which uh, the conductor is uh, moved. And uh, the index finger gives the direction of the uh, magnetic field. And uh, the middle finger gives the direction of induced current. I repeat, if you stretch uh, three fingers of your right hand in such a way that they are mutually perpendicular to each other, then the thumb gives the direction in which the conductor is moved in magnetic field and the finger, this index finger gives the direction of magnetic field and the middle finger gives the direction of induced current in that uh, loop. So by keeping that in mind, if we apply Fleming's left hand rule to this uh, situation, then this uh, index finger shows the direction of magnetic field okay and uh, the thumb gives the direction of the motion of uh, the conductor and uh, this middle finger will give the direction of current in that uh, loop because in our case if uh, the current flows in this way when it reaches a b it will move downward okay or we take this uh, part as the loop then it will move downward so this is what uh, shown here by Fleming's uh, right hand rule Rod field acts inward, the rod moves towards the left, if it is so then the current will move in the downward direction in the metallic conductor. Clear? Now, I told you this expression uses the induced current in the, the loop. In the place of epsilon, I am going to substitute the value of. Uh, Obtained by me here. What is that? I is equal to the place of epsilon. The value is BLB upon R. This is the final expression which gives us the value of induced current in this uh, loop placed in the magnetic field. I hope the video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, kindly put a question in the comment section. Thanks for watching.